What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here, and I am about to decrypt the DLC. I am about to tear apart the trailer. I'm talking about the official trailer for the Wasteland Workshop DLC that is coming out next Tuesday. Yes, the 12th of April, the way uh, the waste work what shit Wasteland Workshop Workshop Wasteland something like that. The new fucking DLC is coming out. <laughs> Why can't I remember? Oh, God. Anyway, so um, I have the official trailer here, um, I uh, and we're going to take a look at it in just a second here, but um, I just wanted to let everyone know that we are going to comb through this thing, and I will tell you now, I am sure I'm going to miss something, but don't worry. You guys will let me know in the comments. All right, let's get to the video. All right, so as the video starts, you see that uh, we're killing a bunch of shit here. And then uh, the first one that we're going to take a look at, uh, there's our uh, the Lone Wanderer, is we're going to look at this image here. Now, I don't remember any place where all the buses are stacked up and stuff like that. So, uh, I don't know, is this a new settlement? Is this something new that we can do? Can we create walls out of cars and shit like that? Because if that's the case... Oh my God, I am tearing down everything and starting over. If we can use cars and buses and shit for walls, holy Hannah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so yeah, that that is that. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the video. <laughs> I mean, there's not obviously nothing new here, I don't think. Other than there is a spotlight that in the actual video, you'll see it sweeping across the buses down there. And that is certainly dog meat in that picture. So um, let's continue on with the video and see what we can see. Yeah, and as you can see there that the uh, spotlight was moving along those buses. Now we're going to go ahead and pause here and we're going to take a look at this image because there's a lot of stuff that we can glean from this. This looks to be, I'm going to say Spectacle Island, looking at the trees in the background up on the top of the hill and stuff like that. And obviously there's a waterfront area. So, but there is nothing, this building doesn't exist anywhere in the game that I'm aware of. I could be totally wrong. If I am, please let me know down in the comment section below. But, and obviously we can build the shack foundation with piers. But the looking at the building, now if you watch the entire trailer, and I'll put a link to it down in the description below, those look like the new concrete walls. The, there's a whole new section. So we're going to have wood, we're going to have steel, and then we're going to have concrete. And I'll, uh, we'll look at that some more in just a little bit. But that building looks like it's something that we will be able to build with windows. For fuck's sake, yes, windows. Oh my god, I've been waiting for windows. It's so stupid, I've been waiting for windows. Okay, we will also notice that considering this is all stuff that we can build, right at the forefront there is a lit lantern that is shedding light. And that is not something that we could previously build, at least on consoles. I know you mod users on PC are just me, me, me. Well, you know what, screw you guys. Now we get to play with the cool stuff too. Okay. So, also looking on this pier, we have these very cool-looking streetlights. They're actually very reminis uh, reminiscent of the lights in, well, Egret Tours Marina, actually. Uh, so I've been doing the Let's Build over there. They're a little bit different than the ones in Sanctuary, because those are a straight pole, where these definitely have a bend to them. And you can see they're all wired together, and the, the generator over there, and it looks like just a regular old... Uh, it looks like maybe a large generator sitting over there on the um, the shoreline to the to our left on the screen. Now, a couple more things of note is the new lights by the front door. Uh, those appear to be new style of lighting that we will have. And of course, in the windows, it looks like we see more lamps. And we have a burning fire barrel on the beach in the lower right hand corner. So, that is all I can really see that's really different in this particular shot. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next. All right, and we see here, we're going to pause right here. This looks like it's Jamaica Plain to me. I could be totally wrong on that, but it looks like Jamaica Plain. But if it is, what the hell are water purifiers doing in the bottom right-hand corner of this screen? Now, here is my guess 
obviously they're not glitching stuff in. We know that we can glitch in water purifiers over land. And if you've been to Jamaica Plain, you know there's no water. I think that they've added a fourth, fourth? Yes, a fourth uh, water source under the resource tab. You have the small hand pump, uh, the medium water purifier, and the industrial water purifier, right? Just three? Shit, I don't know. Anyway, I think that this is a wellhead. I think it's a way for us to get more water on a landlocked settlement. That's what I think that is. I don't think they've done anything crazy or goofy or anything like that. I think that that is a wellhead. It's a new, going to be under the uh, water resource tab, and that's what we're going to get. And uh, now we will continue and uh, uh, on with the trailer and see what else we can determine. All right, and as we pause here, uh, we're going to see that we can now build a garden plot. How cool is that? That means that places like the Boston Airport, the Mechanist Layer, uh, we can now put down little plots of dirt to plant our gardens. And if we go back to the whole idea of water purifiers on land, uh, with my previous thought, now Boston Airport actually turns into a very viable uh, settlement. And, I mean, the requirements are very low. I mean, four wood and one fertilizer to put in this little plot. And as we'll see here, they put in a couple mute fruit and uh, a tato and a melon. And so this is definitely going to give us uh, a little bit further reach with our settlements. Again, like the Boston Airport and uh, the Mechanist Lair. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. And as we can see here... Uh, we, there's our new category. We have structures, concrete, and then floors. So obviously we have floors and walls and roofs and concrete stairs. So uh, that is definitely going to be cool. And also what we're looking at in this picture is the decontamination arch. We've seen them at other places around before, but this is going to be the first time that we are able to build them. So that's very cool. And apparently if you listen to the uh, Soul Survivor talking in the... Uh, in the trailer, he's talking about how he's going to uh, use, uh, you know, high tech technology or whatever his phrasing was uh, to uh, to make things better. And then you see him walking through and nothing but his boxers uh, through the decontamination arch. So I'm guessing that it's going to help take away some radiation or something like that. That will certainly uh, be helpful in the uh, the survive the new survival mode that's coming out. Uh, if you have a way that you can decontaminate yourself, get rid of some radiation without the bad side effects that Radaway is going to cause. And uh, also, I wanted to point out the little spotlights that are on the ground lighting up. Now, that could all be part of the, the one thing. You know, you put down the decontamination arch and it comes with those little lights. That may not be something that we can individually place. I'm not sure about that yet. But I did want to uh, take a look at this. And now let's move on to the next image. And as you can see right there in the menu down below, we have our wood, our metal, and now we have our concrete structures. And we'll go ahead and let this play out. And then I'll come back and uh, talk about a couple points of interest. All right, you're going to see I'm putting down some concrete floors and concrete walls. And we're going to pause right here. And we're going to take a look at this, this menu. Okay, so we see the solid wall there. Um, obviously a concrete doorway. Then we have this mesh wall here. To the right of that is a concrete wall with windows. To the right of that appears to be a half wall. I could be totally mistaken, but that looks like a half wall, half vertical wall, not, not like a knee wall, half horizontal. Anyway, <laughs> you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about, shit. And right next to that, it appears to be like a pillar or may, maybe that's meant to be like a like a filler piece or something like that. But if that's a concrete tube or rectangle or prism of some sort, you can bet your sweet ass I'm going to be using that to prop some shit up. Or at least give the illusion that I'm propping some shit up. All right, let's continue. Now, there's nothing really new here. That, now, if you watch the uh, <laughs> the trailer, uh, he the... Uh, the Soul Survivor actually made a pretty funny comment there about corrugated metal and uh, live electrical wires or something like that. 
or loose electrical wires. And so it made me laugh the first time I heard it. But I want to take a look at this screenshot here uh, because there's a few things that we can definitely make out in this scene. First off, we can see our lettering. They talked about um, a lettering kit. And if you look over on the right hand side on the steamer trunk, it says guns. On the safe or the file cabinet next to him, it says storage. And then over on the dresser piece by the window, it says stuff. So there's our lettering kit. And I think the Nixie tube lighting is the zero and the two. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, man, if we could keep score in the uh, the the pits as we capture, you know, death claws and shit like that, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know what other purpose that would serve, but um, we will certainly be diving into that. And um, let's see, what else do we have going on around here? Well, we have the elevated platform that he's sitting on, and then the smaller elevated platform that's on top of that. Uh, and if you watch the trailer, he will hit his head, and I'll show that in just a second. But uh, taking a look around, uh, of course, we still have the lantern over in the on the right side in the middle of the, the picture uh, lit there. And of course, they have shit scattered all over the place. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that really, really stands out other than the platform and the lettering. And I don't know that that taxidermy that looks like a mole rat, the, you know, something that we already have. We'll see more of that in just a minute. So I think that's it for this picture. Now, of course, there may be a few little decor items. I mean, they've got some shit like the gun propped up over there next to the steamer trunk. That looks perfect, especially with the <clears throat> the power armor uh, helmet sitting next to it. So that's really cool. The mini nuke sitting next to his chair. Uh, so yeah, so there's definitely some stuff going on in here as well. And uh, so that's why I want to take a look at that. So let us uh, move on to our next stop on this tour of destruction. And as we see him stand up, uh, he's going to hit his head there with the fan. That's pretty damn funny. All right, so it looks like we have uh, several new traps uh, going on here, including the spring trap, the spike trap. That's totally badass. That saw blade thing. And then, of course, we have the cages. And there's going to be different cages for each of the different kinds of animals that we got here. And right here, we see how we're going to control the different things that we capture. They're calling it a beta wave emitter. And it's going to take some resources and a little bit of power. And it's also going to require Animal Friend and Wasteland Whisperer to build. But you can see in the description up at the top, creatures released from cages while this is turned on will be non-aggressive towards you and your settlers. That means that, folks, we can have fucking Mirelur Kings and Death Claws wandering around our settlements. <laughs> Totally a-okay. I think they'll defend our settlements. How cool would that be? I don't know that. That's totally conjecture. I'm sorry. That's conjecture at my point. All I do know is that you will be able to tame them so that they can hang out in the settlements. That's what I do know because it says so right there on the screen. So that's going to be pretty badass. All right, let's move on. And now you can totally see that the Mirelurk King is totally tamed and just chilling out. Now, right here... And this was very, very quick. I had to catch this specific frame. There's dog cages. But they're going to move to cat cages. And that is going to be the first cage that I fucking set up. I want a cat in my settlement. How badass is that? Let's take a look at that real quick. All right. And as we move forward, we set the cat cage and we flip the trigger. And look, it's my new little buddy. Oh, he's going to be awesome. I'm going to park him on my bed so that he, all the settlers will leave me the hell alone. All right, I went ahead and paused here. Uh, we've seen this picture or some variant of it before. The live Deathclaw fights and, you know, in the arena. And we see that the fire pit is over there next to, uh, next to the cage. And it looks like there's some candles over there as well. Now, uh, there's also a street, if you look just over the top of the power armor, you will see a, a little yellow blob. That's actually a, a street light, and those are going to be lights that we can put up as well, too. So that's going to be something new and different and cool. 
Uh, and notice the lights that are hanging in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to talk more about those lights in just a minute when we have a much better shot of them, but I did want to bring them up here now. Let's continue the video. All right, here we see the death claw coming out of the cage. Notice that blue platform there. That obviously is going to be something for the arena. And I'm going to pause it right here so that we can see that it look, it's Preston Garvey in power armor kicking some death claw ass. But the main reason I, I pause this is to see the death claw taxidermy, the death claw head mounted on the wall, and the cool new uh, street lamp that's uh, sitting right there at the end of his laser musket. Uh, so wanted to point out some of the the new stuff that they're going to be added. Let's go ahead and continue on with more of the video. All right, kick his ass. Oh, good job, Preston. All right, so now we're going to take a look at some of the taxidermy that we got going on in the game. There's one of those one of those sting wings or something like that, and there's a uh, Yagwai and a Mirelert King, and uh, there's some cool looking shit in this. And uh, obviously the death claw head and stuff like that. And I also wanted to point out the, it looks like track lighting or something like that up on the ceiling that is highlighting each of our trophies. So I don't know if those are going to be individually placed or if they go up in groups or whatnot, but definitely anything that adds to the fucking lighting in this game is way okay with me. Also, look at the cool new roof. Obviously that's part of the, the concrete roof package there that we're going to be getting uh, but that is a very cool looking roof to kind of give it like a cage feel man you could do we're going to build some bitching settlements aren't we guys all right let us uh we're going we're getting to the end here and we're going to wrap this up and no i did not forget about those little lights hold on just a second and uh we will continue on with the video all right and as we move into this new scene we see those look like smaller light boxes to me but this is what i wanted to point out real quick Okay, obviously the lights are different colored, which is very cool, which means that we can hook those lights into a terminal, change their colors, they're going to flash and stuff like that as we let this thing play out. But I think those are the same lights, because notice, normal lights, when we hang them down from the ceiling, and I don't think it's an optical illusion, I think that they are actually wired up each individually. I don't know, it could be a play of the lights, that could be great shadow work there, but that sure as hell looks like each one of those is running a wire to something. Again, I could be totally fucking batshit crazy, I probably am, but those look like they are hardwired, not just stuck up into the ceiling like the the original lights that we had that was just the bare bulb. And the fact that these uh, light up and, and turn on and off and, and do all those cool things, uh, we're going to create some awesome shit. So let's go ahead and continue. And actually, as I look at this even more, I truly believe that those are hardwired because if you look at the connectors over there uh, to the right of the screen up in the upper right-hand corner, those wall connectors have wires that are running to those lights. So I think that those lights are hardwired in. They're going to have to be hooked to connectors. Not that they're going to take any actual electricity. You know, they're probably going to be just like normal lights. God, I hope they're like normal lights and not like one power for each fucking bulb. I'd be pissed off at that. But this is kind of like the final scene. Uh, of the trailer and so I want to take a quick look those light boxes look smaller than the normal light boxes do I don't know I'm also looking at the neon signs I'm guessing that you're going to click on neon sign or something like that and it's going to bring up the uh, the keyboard for consoles you know on the on-screen little keyboard so then we'll just be able to type in what we want and then it will show up as the lights. I think that that's how that's going to work. I can't see us placing each individual letter. That would fucking suck. And you can also see the um, on the very edge on the left hand side especially you can see the street lamp. It's on yellow right now. And all those are programmable and stuff like that and can change you know, between the yellow, the red, and the green. And of course the open signs that they've been showing throughout this entire thing and that is going to be it. Uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. And I sure hoped you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Wasteland Workshop DLC. And uh, until next time, Wastelanders, take care of yourselves out there. This is Drake Invictus saying, see ya!